we are welcoming you to episode number 15. Oh my God. Yes, we are episode number 15, and we are today with the Venice Whole Food Plant Based Lifestyle No Added Sugar or Salt Meetup Group. And that's you guys, right? Yeah. It's also a pod on the Pod Plant Pure Communities Network called Southwest Florida Healthy Eating Group. That's you also. Yeah. And today we have a special treat. We are going to see a demo of these beautiful cosmic carrot dogs that are whole food plant-based, no added sugar, oil, or salt. So people have been humming, take me out to the ball game around here. It is going to be a really delicious thing to watch and for you to try at home. So please help me welcome our returning Green Star members, Beverly and John. Okay, so Cosmic Carrot Dogs. Um, the way I've made them this time is in the Instant Pot, and they don't have to be in the Instant Pot if you don't have one. Hopefully you all know what that is, but you wouldn't have to do that. You could pre-cook the carrots to soften them and then put them in the marinade and then go from there. So that, that's okay. It's the ingredients really that count. And so we provided the recipe for you. So we made the marinade and then we put that in the Instant Pot. And then you kind of have to gauge, um, you want to clean your carrots and trim them. If I'm preparing it for someone that's really kind of maybe new to the um, plant-based world, I, and there, I wasn't making too many, I would typically take the carrot and shape the ends and round them a little bit and make them look like a hot dog. <laughs> but for us, we know what they are. We're cool with what they are. So they're not shaped 21 carrots later. Anyway, so, um, so you cook them in the Instant Pot and kind of do it by the size of the carrots. So if you've got really, really fat carrots, then you want to put it in there for six minutes in the Instant Pot. If it's thinner carrots, then you can do it four minutes, five minutes, whatever. It calls for a quick release. Um, I don't always get to doing the quick release. It's just not that critical. It's just getting them to where they're tender and, and manageable. Um, so from then, you can just eat them as they are, or you can do like we're doing now. We're just kind of heating them up and making them, getting some grill marks on them. We've actually traveled with them going to a barbecue where we knew there was gonna be nothing for us to eat. And we brought ours in already cooked in the little baggie. And when they were through cooking their burgers and their dogs, we slapped our carrot dogs on the grill and everybody was happy. So they do travel well, you know, and they're just, they're easy, nice to have around. The marinade, by the way, you can actually freeze it, you know, when you have the let and use it again. There's been no meat in it, so it's not contaminated with anything, and there's been carrots in there. So they're really easy to make. And um, so of course, then the key is, making whatever um, accompaniments you like to put on your hot dog. It's gonna make it for you, you know, So you, you like. cook <laughs> the <laughs> carrots and then you marinate them? Or you um, marinate them? No, I cook in, them in the marinade in the, in the marinade. Instant Pot. If you okay. did not use an Instant Pot, then you would pre-cook the carrots and then put them in the marinade right. so that they could absorb. But putting them in the Instant Pot, it kind of combines it. So it's, it's marinating and cooking So you put the carrots in, cover time. it with the marinade and then... Correct, in the Instant Pot. So yeah. you don't use the, uh, the steamer? Correct, no. I just put them in the marinade in the Instant Pot. Any questions? Yeah. Uh, Beverly, yeah, yes. if you make a large batch for yourself, do they freeze well or when they thaw out are they kind of... I haven't frozen them, we just I have. <laughs> never make I have, they're okay. They're not as good consistency-wise okay. as you know, but they're okay. Well, these are looking really good and it's smelling really like a real uh, barbecue up here. So it's going to be really delicious and they brought some great, really great condiments. So will everybody please give Beverly and John a round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy. Too bad you guys up. aren't here to taste them. That's right. But you should have been here. <laughs> you're going to get the recipe so that you can try them. And please put something in the comments below and let us know how they turn out for you or if you have a different recipe that you want to share with all of us. And until next time, remember, click up here to subscribe. And be strong, be well, and be, be great. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye.